everyone, Corey here coming in to do my monthly channeled messages. This is for February and for the, those who didn't get one for January, I'm so sorry, it didn't happen. Lots happening, uh, kind of going through some colds and everything else and work, but here we are, we'll try this. We'll try to get them all out for February. We'll see what we can do. Remember that this does not replace any medical psychological advice. This is be taken as entertainment only. Um, and so we're starting out with Scorpio. Was it Scorpio? Yes. Yes. So we're starting out with Scorpio. That's going to be my first. I don't know why I'm starting with Scorpio, but it was kind of the first one. I just finished doing my month, my weekly channel message, and I was going to quit for the night. And then I just heard do some of these videos. So, so I feel like for Scorpio energy, I have some of you staying up at night. I feel like there's just like something of a choices, decisions that you have to make. I feel like you're exploring some options and I feel like there's something of an energy of just like, kind of like, holy fuck, where have I been? <laughs> holy fuck, where have I been? What have I been doing? And where am I going? So I just feel like it's almost like, I, something feels like it's almost like um, has been blocking you. Something feels like you've been just like trying to get through a time or get through an energy you've allowed, like something has disempowered you or taken your power and it's kept you up at night. I feel like you're always trying to protect, like it's almost like something is in the way or it's either you trying to guard your, 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 your emotions or trying to protect yourself or somebody else is like, it's like blocking you or trying to block you. There is an ending, there is a death card and there is a move forward for you. And I have a new beginning. So something is ending and something new is possible. Like you're taking a leap of faith. You're jumping into something that loyalty has to be from you. And I'm like, and this month, it just feels like it's like just this rush. Like it's just this rush of energy that's just coming in and saying like, like, it's kind of like, you got to get, you got to do something now or something has to be done now. And the death card doesn't come as, you know, always that it's like, you see it and it's like, oh, it's just horrific. But that's not even how I'm even channeling this through. I use the cards as a way to, to kind of have imagery to go with the, with the energy that I'm picking up. And it's very fast moving energy around you, Scorpio. Very fast moving. I feel like for some of you last month, I'd feel like it was just like, maybe you weren't, I don't think you even got a reading last month. I don't even think yours was one that wants to get finished, but it just feels like the world just escaped you or you were just in this like a stalemate energy or just stuck and not really, nothing was really moving. Nothing was really flowing. This month is like finally putting the pieces together. And so what I'm getting with this, when I'm pulling up, when I'm looking at the first card that came out is that whole sense of that anxiety, keeping you up at night, stress. But what brings my attention is this, is this comforter, is this quilt, like you're still comforted, like something that's still weighing you down or, or keeping you safe, protecting you, whatever it is. It's like, whatever is not for you, it was like, you have been protected, saved. It's like a saving grace. Say freaking thank you. Let it end. And I just feel like this big ass bully kind of energy is what I'm getting. I know it's not what the card is, but, but it's like, that's what it feels like. It just feels like the stubbornness or this determination to hold on. Like, it's like the world was yours. You feel like you've missed out on some opportunities. I feel like you didn't take, you didn't jump on things. You've been waiting for something to unfold, been very like holding on, like not letting something end. It's like, nope, nope, not letting it end. I'm just going to keep hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. But it's like something is thrown right at you. And it's all like, there's no, you can't turn the blind eye. You can't turn away. Secrets are being exposed. Like I just see like splattered out on the road. Like everything's just like bleh. Everything is out there. So I don't know if that's also something of a, like a dismantling or destruction within your own life or how that's unfolding. But it's just like, this is like finally like getting moved and free. And with that death card then comes in this, you know, with all that is left behind ahead, there is some sort of hope. There is a sunrise. There is like this, is that sun coming up or going down? Right. And it's just like, and so then, you know, we see that we, we see this beautiful, we see this beautiful golden energy right here. And, you know, it's that sense of like that white horse, like waiting for the white horse to walk in, waiting for that energy to come in, waiting for that, that savior kind of energy. And I feel like it's like that death card is a major life event that is unfolding, that is changing, that there is, there is some sort of like the final ending in order to, in order to move forward. It's like things sometimes have to end, right? And there has to be endings in order for new beginnings, no way around it. 
but I also have that sense of like, um, I want to say it feels like, it feels like knight in shining armor or, or just that, that saving grace moment, something that comes in that is like, it's the driving force, the driving force of God consciousness, the driving force of God coming in and just saying, it is, it's propelling you forward, whether you want to go or not. It's a, it's a go time. And I can, I'm drawing a starfish. <laughs> I'm like, why am I drawing a starfish? And so I'm drawing out a starfish. I don't know why I'm drawing out a starfish, but I'm like, it's go time. Something is propelling you forward. These new opportunities, this new beginning. That's funny because I got to look up spiritual meaning of starfish in the moment. I don't even know what it even represents anymore. I know it because it's in one of my cards, but I don't know it when it's right here in front of me right now. Um, And so, of course, this is just how I roll. I got to know this now. But this, this starfish energy that I pick in coming up and what I'm drawing is a starfish. And, I'm like, and so it feels like for me, it's like that starfish has these many legs, many, many can go either which way. But it also truly represents uh, vigilance, <laughs> inspiration, brilliance, intuition. And so when we look up a starfish and I'm looking at, well, whose side am I on? because I'm reading somebody else's. So I have to just, it's on your tango. I think I'm reading this, your tango.com. And so this one is, um, it's able, yeah, able to sense, move, uh, regenerate and inspire us to follow our hearts and do things in our own unique way. And so not thinking about how strange it may seem. So it also is that inspiration more. I'm going to go back because that's not usually the site I'm in. But it's very important. I don't know who it's important for, but it's very important you know about this damn starfish or else I would not be drawing it out. And next to it, I wrote more. There's something more coming for you. And if you stay in the old energy, you stay holding on, it's holding you back. Um, it's, so it's believed to be immortal in ancient cultures. The animal's able to renew. This is on the fifth element life, the fifth element life.com. The starfish has an important, uh, important place in the cultures. Da, da, da. From the Egyptians was associated starfish to Isis. Yes, that I knew. That was what. Okay, that's and it symbolizes and it's it symbolizes Venus. These creatures have no brain and rely on their senses to go through life. Well, I think I'm a little bit like that sometimes. So the starfish for you and why it's coming up though is about that movement. It is that higher power. Oh, for wherever you are in life, there's a higher power that is there with you. Duh, that's, so it's like the starfish represents. And as I said, with this card, what else get? It's out of your control and out of your forces. That, I'm looking over at my Isis. That, that divine... Isis energy, that shift is like something is coming in and propelling. And no matter how stubborn you've been, no matter how hard you've been holding on, no matter how much you've been looking at the world and wishing and dreaming for things to go just as you want, it's like, it's not going to go that way. It's going to go the way that is needed and something new. And you are taking a total leap of faith. You're, it's like, this is very like heart centered, moving forward. Um, there's, there's plans are being revised. And it's as if there is hope. And so the, for me in the death card, I'm seeing hope. I'm seeing peace. I see they're coming with peace at peace, that blossoming of the flower, the white flower, and see that, you know, the skeleton, maybe nothing left to him, but a skeleton, but his mask is up and kind of like, it's like this wind is going down, just kind of calm, coming in peace. So it also comes in to make peace with where we've been moving forward. And then I also have the full card for you. And so the full card is that leap of faith, that loyal little, 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 little dog. And that blossoming is that 
taking that one little flower, that one little seed, you know, and when we plant a new seed, think of the mustard seed. So this feels like for me is that you just planted a new seed. There's planting of a new seed that there's more for you or more to come. Whatever has been keeping you up at night, whatever has been weighing you down, whatever has been a false sense of safety and security in your life, it's, it hasn't been working. And there's like, it's like something coming in to keep your head warm, something coming in to keep the, the light and love and the heat within you and that, that leap of faith and making those changes and being able to move forward. But it's, it's, it's forces outside of your control. It is something it's like you're just taking that, taking what is yours and moving forward, taking, you know, what you've learned, the wisdom, the knowledge and, and moving forward in such um like this feels like fast paced to me. I feel like the next few months for you is like boom, boom, boom. Like by April, like by March, it feels like like no, like, like it just feels like time that it's just like charging you forward. You've come into, I'm in my deck now of the everyday goddess oracle and it's, and it's the diamond effects card. Hard to see these with this light, but it's the diamond effects card and it's the effects to outgrowth effects right? So it's once, it's like that chain effect, right? Once one thing crumbles or one thing comes out or one thing happens, it's like a domino effect. And so you're seeing that domino effect. So if you want to see changes, it's like, and the diamond effect is like the more that you polish up the, the, that diamond comes out of the ground. And it's that essence of, you know, it's raw stone. You can't see the beauty. And then you start chiseling and cleaning and then shaping it. And then it just forms into this majestic, beautiful, you know, invaluable stone. And that's, and so it was, didn't have that same value in the ground. It was just a rock. And then all of a sudden it becomes something. And that's what it feels like. It's like, it's just finally starting to come in. And it also represents the Christ-like light within us. It represents that essence of being able to connect to our light, to start to um, allow ourselves to be illuminated, to allow ourselves to be lit up. So there is some sense of truth. And this is the awareness of truth. And yes, she does look something like me because she is. This was a card that was gifted to, it was gifted as a gift from the artist, Amelia Richard. And with time, we decided to put it into the cards. And so because I, you know, not knowing by my name, um, not never, you know, you, 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 you're not your true self right from the time you're born. You arrived with everything that you need. And when you start to recognize that you are what your soul is calling out for, you stop seeking and searching for it in everyone else. And you start to accept that truth. And so this represents actually sitting at the seat of the soul. And when we take that, when we take that seat, when we enter into the into that castle, when we enter into that place of coming into ourselves, is that we're we're aware. And so this is, you know, back at this is the new beginnings, right? And and moving forward. So we're charging forward with that energy and, and going ahead. So there is a lot of, there is a lot of change, but there's a peace, a contentment that comes with this because it's finally like you're making the choices and choosing for yourself. And I just recorded this card for a TikTok a little bit while ago, and it's the fragments of you, which is hollow and hollow means to be holy, to, you know, step into that holy energy. So holy and being whole means the same type of thing. And to be, you know, to come to, to that, that come to God moment, that is what I say, is that come to God moment, is that, you know, the fragmented pieces of you, when you come back together, when you put yourself back together, and it's just like that vase, that story that, you know, when you hear about the, 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 I think it's a Japanese technique of using that, that golden liquid to put the vase back together, and it just becomes a, a new creation. And that's everything that's here. And so to be whole again, to come together again, you're never going back to the way things were, but you're coming back into self. And so the sense of the divine, holy, uh, like the, the divine feminine working powerfully through you, for you, on your behalf, and seeing some big major changes happening and some big shifts happening for some of my scap scapricorns. <laughs> Whoa, that was like a Capricorn Scorpio mix. What was that about Scapricorns? <laughs> so I don't know if some of you Scorpio are going to be in relationship with a Capricorn or meeting a Capricorn or having or or walking away from a Capricorn. And this may be a Capricorn and this may be somebody you already knew. Somebody you already knew that's that somehow you're either connecting with 
reconnecting with or starting something with who knows but mm, interesting mm. I'm like that's another that's another chapter for another day but I have Capricorn energy it could also be that you have Capricorn in your sign and that you're rising up into your Capricorn energy that might be your your ascend ascendance you're rising yeah so you're rising sun and so that may be that as well but this feels like I have Capricorn energy coming in for the Scorpio energy and you just never know what life has in store for you. So there's a lot of surprises, a lot of just that leaps of faith and you're taking some big leaps of faith and it's almost like it's being pushed upon you and a move and a shift. Some of you may be going back to somewhere where you once were somebody like, I don't know. I just feel like there's big, big, beautiful changes. Um, it might not feel beautiful at time and not everything is a beautiful change, but something, but there's definitely endings and new beginnings that are coming in for a lot of you, Scorpio coming into this February. And this is being recorded on February the 2nd, by the way. Much love. Have a beautiful month and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.